Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode from my amazing food series. My name is Derek from Simna Nutrition. We're back here in the kitchen and I'm about to talk to you guys all about blueberries. So the idea with these videos is to get you excited about food and help you to understand why we are eating certain foods. So in these videos to do that, I like to highlight some cool fun facts about the food. It'll be blueberries in this case. Uh, talk about some of the nutritional benefits of it, how it's gonna benefit our health. And then I also like to go into some of the ways that you guys can incorporate them into your lifestyle, some ways that you can eat them. I mean, with berries, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I will show you guys a couple recipes at the end like I always do. So definitely stay tuned for that. So we've talked about some pretty amazing foods in this series already, but blueberries have got to be one of the most amazing, especially as far as benefiting human health. So hopefully in this video, you guys will understand why you should probably be eating blueberries. And if you're already eating them, why you should be eating more. <laughs> So I'm sure a lot of you out there really love blueberries, as do I. And as a Canadian, I think we hold a special place in our hearts for blueberries. It is native to Canada. It is one of our largest food exports. We're one of the world's largest consumers of blueberries. Like, we love blueberries here in Canada. And uh, not to mention the fact that almost everybody knows somebody who has a blueberry bush, or at least has some memories of their childhood you know, from picking blueberries from when they were young. It's, it's definitely like a common thing here in Canada. And actually just out on my run today, I came across a blueberry bush. So I was just out here on a run and this caught the corner of my eye right here. What do we have but a high bush blueberry bush. Pretty cool. <laughs> And Crystal's mom actually has a blueberry bush. So we went over there the other day, as you can see here, and we grabbed some blueberries from her. And you can see how much these things produce. This is actually like the second or third harvest of these blueberry bushes. And they're only a couple years old. So after about six years, blueberry bushes become mature and they can produce anywhere from like six to seven pounds of blueberries every single year. And they will live for about 40 to 50 years producing. There are a few main types of blueberry bushes that we get blueberries from. So there's the high bush blueberry, which is the most common here in the north and then there's the low bush which is also common in North America and there's a couple hybrids that they've made between the two of them where they've selectively bred them for certain qualities there's the rabbit eye blueberry bush which is more common in the south and is better with hotter temperatures and then there's the wild blueberry which grows in the wild didn't have to be Einstein to figure that one out. But it should be noted that what some companies are doing now is they are taking that variety, that wild blueberry uh, variety, and they are farming it. And wild blueberries are known for having the highest antioxidant uh, amounts of any of the blueberries. However, that only applies to them when they are actually grown in the wild. It's not anything to shy away from if you do see farmed wild blueberries. It's not a problem at all. And in fact, most of the research that has been done on blueberries have been done on the more common varieties like the high bush and the low bush varieties. So yeah, they're all so good for you. They have really similar nutrient profiles, uh, but the wild, wild blueberry is definitely like the best. So I'm sure many of you have noticed the white powdery film that's sometimes on the outside of blueberries. And I never knew what that was. I always just thought it was like some sort of pesticide residue or something that was added to them to help to preserve them, to make them last longer. And it actually does help to preserve them and make them last longer, but it isn't added. It's a naturally occurring thing. It's actually called the bloom. And blueberries produce this in order to help to keep their moisture content and retain nutrients. So it's actually a sign of freshness when you do see blueberries with that white coat on the outside um, because through handling and shipping and all that sort of stuff it does get worn off so it's always a good idea to wash our berries and our you know fruits and vegetables and everything uh, but with blueberries you want to wait until you're just about to eat them because that protective coating does keep some of the nutrients and moisture and flavor and everything in there the more you know <laughs> Another cool fact about blueberries is that they're one of the only foods that are truly blue in color. And that's thanks to some of the antioxidants that they possess. And what's also really cool, and I learned this the other day, is that I'm growing some tomatoes in my yard called blue tomatoes. And I learned that those have been selectively bred to contain lots of that antioxidant that gives it that blue pigment. And that antioxidant is called anthocyanin. And what else is really cool is if you look at the word anthocyanin, we actually have two roots in there. So if you look at the first one, antho, it actually comes from the Greek word anthos, which means flower. And then the second part of the word is cyanin. And you guys probably recognize this. It looks a lot like the word cyan, which we know as a bluish green color. And it actually comes from a Greek word, which means deep 
dark blue. Blueberries are definitely best known for their antioxidants, but they do contain some other nutrients as well. They're a good source of vitamin C, vitamin K, manganese, and fiber. And of course they do contain some other nutrients, but generally we aren't eating enough blueberries for it to be very significant. So I know what you're thinking. After looking at that, you're like, this doesn't look that good for blueberries. <laughs> like, they're not very nutritious, Derek. But here's the thing, blueberries have been extensively studied and are understood to be one of the best foods for human health, for helping to ward off disease disease and helping with aging and any degenerative conditions that come with that. So yeah, antioxidants for the win. You definitely want to be eating as many berries as possible. So we know that antioxidants help our bodies to combat against oxidative stress. And there's no way to completely avoid them. Of course, there's things that we can do to reduce our exposure, but you cannot avoid them completely. They're everywhere. Um, they're in the environment. Some of the toxins that are just floating around in the air, products that we put on our skin, uh, even just exercise creates oxidative stress. Like there's absolutely nothing that we can do to get away from it, but we definitely want to combat it the most that we can. And having berries is a really, really good way to do that especially important for athletes. So being able to recover faster is like the holy grail for athletes. I mean, the sooner that you can get out there and start training again, the better you're gonna be, the more time you're gonna be able to spend perfecting your craft, the stronger you're gonna get, the faster you're gonna get, and you're gonna be that much further ahead than the next guy who's not recovering as good as you. And blueberries can definitely help you to do that. So I found this study here that found much better recovery for athletes who consume blueberries prior to intense exercises versus those who did not. But whether you're an athlete or not, you should definitely be consuming blueberries because they have such a wide variety of benefits to human health. There's literally thousands of studies that have been done on the consumption of blueberries and they all show incredible benefits. So I'll put some links down below if you guys want to check out some studies on blueberries. Uh, and nutritionfacts.org actually has some amazing blueberry videos as well if you want to learn more. Uh, but some of the areas that they've been proven to help are heart disease, arterial function, diabetes, insulin response, DNA repair, blood pressure, mood, memory, immune system, and also helps to fight off countless cancers, including colon cancer, which is the second most prevalent cause of death from cancer in men and women after lung cancer in the USA. This review here says that in vitro and in vivo studies have demonstrated that berries and their bioactive components exert therapeutic and preventative effects against colon cancer. So I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, what is better, Derek? Is it fresh or frozen? Rewind. <laughs> So I know a lot of you guys are wondering, Derek, what is better? Is frozen better or fresh better? And you know, years ago, I would have jumped at the opportunity to say fresh, fresh is best all the time. But as I learned more, I've actually started to change my opinion a little bit. So this goes for a lot of fruits and vegetables, but what we have to understand is that when stuff is picked, to be sent to a store fresh and not frozen, they usually pick it a little bit early so that it has time to ripen along the root. And it's also less susceptible to like bruising and that sort of stuff if it is, you know, not quite at its peak of ripeness. So generally produce isn't at the peak of its nutritional content until it is at its ripest point. So you can imagine picking food early means that you're already starting off with a lower nutritional profile. And then when it ships, you know, across country or however far it is, that nutritional profile will start to taper off as well because we know that, you know, vitamins and nutrients denature over time. But with frozen berries, they pick them at the peak of their ripeness. So this is because they're the most flavorful and the most sugar rich and tasty then. And they want people to enjoy their product, of course. But along with that, they're at their peak of nutritional content as well. And then what happens is they are usually frozen right on site. They're taken off the bush or the tree or whatever, and they're frozen right away, flash frozen. And this preserves and locks in a lot of the nutrients. So I actually found this on the BC Blueberries website. They say, studies on blueberries and nutrition have shown that since blueberries are frozen soon after they are picked, they are equal in quality to fresh where antioxidants are concerned. Researchers analyzed the anthocyanin content of blueberries frozen for one, three, and five months and found no crease in antioxidants over the fresh berries. They also retain similar or greater concentrations of thiamine, riboflavin, B6, folate, and fiber. And while, I was reaching, well, and while I was researching for this, I actually learned that frozen berries and the other foods as well often contain less pesticide residue than the fresh counterparts. So this is likely due to the fact that they have to spray extra fungicides and pesticides on the food in order to help preserve it for its you know, long haul shipping across country to your grocery store or whatever it is. 
And how often are you in a grocery store and you see fresh berries that have gone all moldy and slimy and all that and just are inedible? Whereas frozen blueberries have a far less chance of that happening, so there's a lot less waste as well. So really, just get whatever ones you can get. Of course, wild blueberries off the side of the mountain are probably going to be the best, but I think a really good second best would be organic frozen ones and then conventional frozen blueberries. I think those are really great options, but honestly, just get whatever ones that you can. So in this last part of these amazing food videos, I always like to share a few ways that you can use the food that we're talking about in your day-to-day -day life. And I mean, berries are pretty self-explanatory. Not many recipes involving, well, maybe there are actually. Everybody knows how to just like pick up a berry and eat it. That is my favorite way to have berries. Um, but there's definitely lots of different ways that I incorporate them into my daily routine. And because they're like so low in calories, you can just have a ton of them and they're really not gonna add much caloric content to your food or your meals. So smoothies are probably the most common way that I use blueberries. We usually buy like a bag of mixed berries and I'll usually throw a couple handfuls of that in there after my workout. Uh, but today I actually came home and made a really neat um, blueberry, mango, banana smoothie. I'll show you guys. So this is a really basic smoothie recipe, but it is really delicious and it definitely does the trick. And what's cool about this smoothie is that these three ingredients, the banana, the date, and the hemp seeds have all been featured in this amazing food series. So if you guys want to learn more about these three foods, definitely check back in the playlist and watch those videos. They're good ones. So we've got a cup and a half of frozen blueberries, about the same amount of frozen mango. We've got one ripe banana. We've got that medjool date. And then here we have some lemon zest. So I like to cut this off the lemon and use it whenever I can because there's so much nutrition left in a lemon once we like squeeze the juice out of it and you end up just like throwing it away or composting it or whatever. So I like to use those in smoothies and lemon, bana uh, banana, mango, and blueberries all go really, really well together. So I've also got some hemp seeds here. The hemp seeds are just gonna help us to bump up the protein content. Also add some healthy omega-3 fatty acids to the smoothie. And then we're just gonna add some unsweetened almond milk there to help it all get going. And if you guys are like me and you're going to the gym trying to make some gains, you can always add some more protein to this by adding like a protein powder. So this is my choice, the Vivo Life Perform plant-based protein powder. Uh, the Madagascar vanilla flavor goes especially good in a smoothie like this. So I am an ambassador for these guys, which means I have an affiliate link and a discount code. Those will be in the description box down below if you want to check it out. And Viva Life, if you don't know about it already, really cool progressive company. All vegan products, they're all heavy metal tested. Uh, this is a fermented protein, so it's really easy on the digestion, no bloating or anything like that. They're coming out with compostable packaging really soon as well. Uh, I just love these guys, love what they're doing, and on top of it all, it tastes amazing. So yeah, but yeah, definitely check it out if you want, and let's uh, blend this up. So good, so, so good. They're also really good to sprinkle on top of your oatmeal. They go really well on top of like cereal or granola if you're having that. Of course, on top of smoothie bowls, they're just amazing. Berries are also really great on top of salads. I always forget to do this, but whenever I do, I do not regret it. They add just this like really nice sort of sweet punch of flavor and you can actually make a really good salad dressing out of blueberries as well, which I'll show you here. Really simple, super delicious. So I've got half a cup of frozen blueberries there, got one pitted medjool date, and I'm gonna use the juice from half of this lemon. A little bit of water into the magic bullet here. And if you guys want, you can add a little pinch of salt as well and it helps to bring out some of those flavors. One thing that's really nice about using the frozen blueberries for this recipe is that it makes the salad dressing nice and thick, so you don't have to add anything to thicken it. All right, so I think that's probably it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about blueberries. And I know I took a little bit of a hiatus from doing these amazing food videos. I just needed a little bit of time to like regroup, regain my energy, but I am back now and I wanna do a couple of these a month. So definitely let me know in the comments down below what food you think that I should cover next. And if you liked this video, definitely hit the like button because it helps me out so much. It tells YouTube, this guy's making good stuff, recommend it to other people. And if you did like this video on the blueberries, you want to learn more about other amazing foods definitely check out the playlist thank you all so much for watching this video all the way to the end i do appreciate it definitely leave your comments down below let me know your favorite way to consume blueberries so here's a couple other videos i'd love for you guys to check out and if you're interested check out my free ebook to see how i formulate my meals i'll see you guys soon bye